everything everywhere all at once it's a movie that i'm going to review today uh because this this is the one of the best movie of 2022 good morning good afternoon or good night ma'am uh this movie everything everywhere all at once is written and directed by daniel kwan and daniel snunert also known as the, the daniels uh the main lead Evel evelyn wong is played by michelle yo and her husband uh Ke Hyu Ke Hyun Kwang, a Chinese name. I'm sorry, it's so hard to pronounce. Uh, who played Wayman Wang? And the main antagonist Jobu Topak is played by Stephanie Hsu. This movie briefly follows a uh, immigrant woman who lives in America following her uh, husband, Wayman Wang. Evelyn is trapped in this kind of everything problem compiled into one. Everything this everything problems uh, ta get gets tangled into this multiversal chase of Jobu Topaki chasing Evelyn. Uh, this movie is a very simple meaning. It, it has a very simple meaning. Actually, it's only uh, the means of this movie is basically about a family. Uh, it's about Stephanie Shu, like Jobu Topaki, or uh, her name Joy, uh, playing to be a villain actually she doesn't want to be a villain she only wants wanted to find her mother she tried to find her comfort uh, she tried to make her mother go into the everything bagel with her this movie uh, compiles the concept of nihilism in, in the everything bagel that is nothing is uh, important because everything is everywhere all at once everything everywhere all at once uh, can say rival Marvel in every single as aspect of it. There is one scene of Evelyn uh, putting a third eye on her forehead. Uh, it's, pl it's put much more great than the Marvel adaptation of the third eye in Doctor Strange with the World of Madness. It's pretty weird in there. And also uh, the plot uh, use the using the plot of uh, the multiversal madness is very very well thought in this movie the creativity of uh, the movie using the multiverse madness uh, the use of the visual effects is much much more better than the marvel doctor strange multiverse of madness and the performance of the uh, per actor or the actress is much more better uh, it's a step up uh, of stephanie Hsu performance from the before she also played a uh, figurine uh, role as uh, the friend of Sang Chi. This movie is notably the best movie of 2022 uh, from the visual, the plot, and the simple story, yet it complex because uh, use the, the plot of multiverse, uh, maybe not very suitable for our younger audience because uh, it's a heavy material to understand the multiverse. Uh, this movie is notably, yes, it is the best movie of 2022 and you should definitely watch it. Thank you.